Hello, good night. How are you? Hola, buenas noches. ¿Cómo están? ¿Qué tal? Okay. So we are going to get started at the moment. Can you hear me fine? ¿Me pueden escuchar bien? Sí, me escuchan. Yes, no. Yes, teacher. Sorry, sorry. Okay, uh, no problem. Yes, oh. you listen very good. <laughs> All right. So let's uh, get started then because it is already 8 p.m., right? So we will have to get started at the moment. We are going to be uh, starting uh, session number two, which is it really works, right? So that it will be the session that we should get started. I hope that tomorrow we can finish it and on on what <laughs> let me check just one second on uh, the coming week that is gonna be the eighth and the seventh we can go ahead and do everything i hope the everything regarding to the session number three regarding to the session number three midterm exam due to the calendar that they send it to us, I think that I can extend the date uh, for the midterm on the ninth, right? Just to give us a couple of time uh, for us to have the, well, just to give a couple of time, right? For us to finish the session number three. So let's uh, get started then. Let's see, on session number two, right, uh, the name is uh, Real, It Really Works. So this one, uh, we are going to be uh, studying a little bit regarding to the health and so on. And here we, here we have some uh, common words, right, for health complaints, right? So, for example, the very first one, it is a uh, headache, right? Headache, headache. Backache, 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 sore muscles, sore muscles, sore muscles, a stomachache, a stomachache, a stomachache, cold, 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 coughed, 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 so the flu, the flu, the flu, the flu, right, the flu. And then the last one is insomnia, 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 right? So these ones are some of the common health issues, right? It says uh, that they take the center from the National Center of Health Statistics, right? Most likely uh, these ones we can say that is uh, the most common, right? That the people go ahead and get uh, just uh, medicine or going to the doctor, right, and so on. So let's repeat it once again. Uh, this one is headache, 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 headache. This is backache, 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 sore muscles, sore muscles, sore muscles, stomachache, 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 cold, 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 cough, cough cough, the flu, the flu, the flu, insomnia, 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 right? So here we have some of them. Is there any questions regarding to this vocabulary? Questions or everything is fine? For me, everything for me, is fine. Everything is fine for all of you? Yes? Yes. All right. So if everything is fine, tell me, have you ever experienced one of these ones? Have you ever experienced one of these ones? Yes, I have. Which I, one? Uh, 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 cold mm -hmm. and a cough. The cough. The cold the cough. and the cough. Okay. Thank you. This is someone else has experienced one of these ones. I have a headache. Headache, okay. The headache. The flu. The flu, okay. Only. Only those ones, okay. 
Does someone else has any other one? ¿Alguien más ha tenido alguno de estos? Okay. In my case, uh, age, uh, cold, the cold, and stomach. And stomach ache. Okay. Stomach ache. Stomach ache. Yes. Uh, this one, right? Este, al final, este H que ustedes ven acá, es ache. 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 Headache. 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 Yes, uh, be careful, right? Headache, backache, backache, stomachache, stomach. Yes. Ese H que ustedes ven al final, ¿verdad? Es ache, ache. So, don't worry. So, good job. Thank you for the ones that has participated, right? Let's listen to the conversation that we have in our virtual platform. That is this one, health problems, right? We are going to be hearing Joan and Greg talking about his and her health problems, right? Seems to be that Greg didn't have a good time, right? Let's see, um, let me get it started on it. No, it's not this one. Just one second. Session number three. Let me see. Let me see if I'm over the correct one. Yes. Are you able to hear it? Yes, no? No, teacher. No, I can escucharle? No, all right. No, I can. You can, okay. And now? It really work. Now? Yes. Yes, all right. Yes. yes. Unit 12. It really works. Page 78, exercise two. Conversation. Health problems. Part A. Listen and practice. Hi, Craig. How are you? Not so good. I have a terrible cold. Really? That's too bad. You should be at home in bed. It's really important to get a lot of rest. Yeah, you're right. And have you taken anything for it? No, I haven't. Well, it's sometimes helpful to eat garlic soup. Just chop up a whole head of garlic and cook it in chicken stock. Try it. It really works. Yuck. That sounds awful. So would you like to listen it once again? Yes? No? Yes, please. All right. So let me play that once again. Unit 12. It really works. Page 78, Exercise 2, Conversation, Health Problems, Part A, Listen and Practice. Hi, Craig. How are you? Not so good. I have a terrible cold. Really? That's too bad. You should be at home in bed. It's really important to get a lot of rest. Yeah, you're right. And have you taken anything for it? No, I haven't. Well, it's sometimes helpful to eat garlic soup. Just chop up a whole head of garlic and cook it in chicken stock. Try it. It really works. Yuck. That sounds awful. All right. So it's enough or once again? It's, it's, it's all right. Mm -hmm. It's all right. OK, so questions regarding to the pronunciation or the vocabulary? Uh, what does mean awful? Awful. Horrible. Horrible, ¿verdad? Sí, horrible. <laughs> es horrible. Eso suena feo, ¿ya? Ahí suena como que no sabe bien la situación. Right? Esa sopa es rara. <laughs> ah, es que lo que pasa es que le dice ella que... Que, que... tome la sopa esa de ajo. <laughs> no, no es, de, no es solamente el ajo. Sino que el chicken stock, este Ajá. chicken stock es eh, caldo de pollo, ¿verdad? Ajá. Es el caldo de pollo y luego le dice ella que corte ajos, ¿verdad? Que, que pique los ajos uh -huh. y que se los ponga al caldo de pollo. O sea, solo la que tiene que cocinar el, el, el caldo, ¿verdad? El pollito uh -huh. para tomárselo, pero tiene que picar los, los ajos. 
Entonces, sí. por eso él dice que feo, ¿eh? eso suena horrible, ¿verdad? Este jock es como cuando nosotros decimos guacala, ¿eh? That sounds awful, eso suena fatal, ¿verdad? Guacala suena fatal, horrible, uh, feo, ¿eh? prácticamente que puede que sepa feo, ¿eh? Posiblemente, tal vez no, ¿verdad? Dependiendo cómo hagan el pollito. Así que eso sí es uh, chicken stock, es uh, caldo, ¿verdad? Caldo, stock es el caldo, ¿verdad? Y es caldo de pollo. Questions, any other question that you might have? Estimados. No, teacher. No, All right. So we are going to do something for fun. We are going to listen to the advice from two more of the CREDS co-workers, of CREDS co-workers, what do they suggest? Please uh, pay attention on the suggestions, right? What do they suggest to CREG to do regarding to his code, right? They are gonna give us some advices to him. Page 78, exercise two, part B. Listen to advice from two more of CREGS co-workers. What do they suggest? One. <coughs> that cold sounds pretty bad, Craig. Yeah, it is. Don't get too close. Well, you know, it's important to drink a lot of liquids. I have some herbal tea. Let me make you a cup. Oh, okay. That sounds good. Two. How's that cold, Craig? Not so good. <coughs> I've still got it. Oh, too bad. Well, listen, it's a good idea to take some cold medicine. And you should go home and take a long, hot bath. You're right. Maybe I should. Thanks for the advice. So let's see. Would you like to listen it once again? Yes or no? Yes, please. All yes. right. All right. Page 78. Exercise 2, Part B. Listen to advice from two more of Craig's co-workers. What do they suggest? 1. <coughs> that cold sounds pretty bad, Craig. Yeah, it is. Don't get too close. Well, you know, it's important to drink a lot of liquids. I have some herbal tea. Let me make you a cup. Oh, okay. That sounds good. Two. How's that cold, Craig? Not so good. <coughs> I've still got it. Oh, too bad. Well, listen, it's a good idea to take some cold medicine. And you should go home and take a long, hot bath. You're right. Maybe I should. Thanks for the advice. Okay, is that enough? Or would you like to hear it once again, the third time? Yes or no? Is that enough or would you like to hear it once again? Don't be shy. One, one more time because I I don't um, hear some words and oh. I don't understand um, all the sentences. All right, don't worry. So let's listen it once again, right? Okay, thank Page you. Page 78, exercise two, part B. Listen to advice from two more of Craig's co-workers. What do they suggest? One. <coughs> that cold sounds pretty bad, Craig. Yeah, it is. Don't get too close. Well, you know, it's important to drink a lot of liquids. I have some herbal tea. Let me make you a cup. Oh, okay. That sounds good. Two. How's that cold, Craig? Not so good. <coughs> I've still got it. Oh, too bad. Well, listen, it's a good idea to take some cold medicine. And you should go home and take a long, hot bath. You're right. Maybe I should. Thanks for the advice. So let's see, right? Let's see what you were able to get. What was the first advice? Uh. Le recomiendo un té de hierbas. <laughs> yes, uh, she recommends, right? Yeah, good job. Or herbal tea, that's true. 
Someone else? It has an idea what? Oh, Medicine. Alguien habló, pero creo que no era para nosotros. Veamos. Eh, sí, alguien más, ¿no? The second, second co work, um, uh, uh -huh. he, he said, he said um, he take a, a medicine and rest uh -huh. and go home and rest in, in the bed. In the bed. All right. I see. Good idea. Okay. But he said something else, right? Not in the bed. What's something else? Let's see if one of your colleagues find it, right? Come Did someone drink. else find something? Go ahead. Recommend drinks liquids. Oh, yes. Uh, the first co-worker said that it's important to drink liquids, right? She did something for him. What was the action? Ella hizo algo para él. ¿Qué fue lo que ella hizo? A cup of tea herbals. A, herbals a tea, cup right? of tea. A cup of tea, that's true, right? An herbal tea, yes, that's true. What about the second co-worker? What does he said? Que fue lo que él dijo? Olguita gave said, us an idea. Go ahead. He said he should take a hot bath and rest. And rest, right? And it was a good idea to take what? Tomar que? Hot, hot bath. A hot, a hot bath? Shower. Uh -huh. Yes. That's true. He was, was one. There were two. He said two. El dijo dos. Was one uh, the bath, the hot water, the uh, well, a warm bath, right? So that they can take it with a hot water. And there was a second thing that he said. He said it at the very beginning that it was a good idea to take some medicines. Yes, cold medicines, right? Cold medicines. Algunas medicinas para el resfriado. Muy bien. So tell me, do you feel it difficult? ¿Lo sintieron difícil? No? Was good? Was easy? My case, un poquito. Just a little bit. All right. Someone else? Alguien más? Give me just one second. Alguien más que haya sentido que batalló un poquito? Uh, the pronunciation of the uh, en, en, el, en, en el diálogo a veces no entiendo las palabras oh, porque, I las, see. porque las une eso, eso de vincular las palabras a, a veces me cuesta Ajá. oh ah, yeah no, I yeah. see Thank you. Yeah, I didn't realize about that. It's because I was accommodating myself. Thank you. Oh, yes, the linking part, right? Uh, the linking on the linking sounds, it's kind of difficult, but it's just uh, that you need to get used to your ear, right? Your ear has to be used to, to the sounds. Su oídito, ¿verdad? Es el que se tiene que, que acomodar al, a los sonidos, ¿verdad? Entonces, este, para que ya se oiga, para que usted en lo natural, ¿verdad? Porque esto es algo pregrabado, pero ya en la naturalidad, sí, la mayoría de gente, pues, le habla con linking sounds. Um, to accustom your ear, you need to be a spouse to the language. ¿verdad? Este, para que acostumbremos nuestro oídito, tenemos que estar este, expuestos al, al, al lenguaje, ¿verdad? Uh, al idioma. So, um, just uh, watching TV, right? Or listening to music in English. If you like music, go ahead and go on music, right? If you like to read, uh, download the, the PDF files, right? From the books in English and go ahead and just open up in H, the browser, and you will be able to place there the audio, right? So the machine can read it for you so you can listen it as well, right? Been reading and listening. So that it would be a good idea. If you are reading, your grammar is gonna be improving as well your vocabulary, right? And the mechanics too. So you will get so many benefits for doing just one thing. Este, para que nuestro oído se acostumbre, eh, la música que a usted le gusta, ¿verdad? O el género que a usted le gusta, eh, pues eh, búscala en inglés, algunas canciones, grupo que a usted le guste, 
y así pues puede ir comenzando o de igual manera eh, para leer, ¿verdad? Pueden leer y así también pues eh, pueden bajar el, el PDF de su libro si lo tienen en PDF y pues ponerlo en el H y que el H les lea, ¿verdad? Que les haga el reading y ustedes van escuchando, van leyendo a la par y así van a hacer dos cosas al mismo tiempo porque si están leyendo van a agarrar vocabulario, van a ver mechanics, ¿verdad? Cómo se escribe, etcétera. Van a tener bastantes beneficios por hacer una sola cosa. Así que pues... Um, Try it because if you don't ex you don't get exposed to the language, it's gonna be difficult all the time, right? Eh, aquí hay que, que ayudarnos un poquito nosotros solo, verdad? Porque este no es no es suficiente, verdad? Nunca es suficiente lo de las clases. Eso se lo digo yo, verdad? Por experiencia, nunca, 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 todos los días, cada día, verdad? Por muy pequeño que sea algo. Usted aprende, ¿verdad? Aprendemos. Entonces, eh, lo que yo les doy acá, una cuestión bien dosificada, ¿verdad? Podemos decir que es el, el medicamento de siete días, ¿verdad? Cuando usted está enfermito para que su cuerpo lo asimile y ya cuando venga otra vez la misma situación, su cuerpo ya tiene como defenderse, ¿verdad? Así es acá. Nosotros le damos la pastillita, ¿verdad? Para que usted ya vaya aprendiendo y ya cuando ya está expuesta al lenguaje ya sabe cómo defenderse, pero no es todo, no lo es todo, ¿verdad? Entonces todos los días usted va a aprender algo nuevo, incluso cuando ya sea un hablante certificado. ¿verdad? Así que este, try to help yourself to expose to the language. Intente ayudarse a usted mismo a exponerse al lenguaje lo más que le sea posible, ¿verdad? Tanto como le sea posible. Do we sound crazy talking in English everywhere? Oh, yes, we sound, but the ones who like to learn, they do it, right? So you have to do it because you want to learn it. Let's see, um, any other comment that you have regarding to the conversation or the audio to continue? Do you have any other comment? No? All good, all fine. Okay, so if there is not any comment regarding to these health problems, keep on mind this situation, right? And let's get started. And let's study the part that it will be the grammar for or this, right? It's infinitive complements, right? This one are the verbs as an infinity and we are gonna have it as a complement, right? These ones are the ones that they are proposed for just to attach to our, our, what we are studying, right? Our grammar topic. We are gonna be using these three things, right? It's important, these three phrases, these three phrases, I'm sorry. It's important, it's, some, it's sometimes helpful, it's a good idea, right? So these ones are the three that we are gonna be using plus the two, which is gonna be the infinitive. Let's make a pattern prior we go ahead and continue on it. Vamos a hacer un pequeño pratón antes, pratón, perdón, antes de que comencemos. Let's see it. All right. Mm. This had opened something else. Okay. Let me see. Okay. Infinitive complements, right? It's what we are going to be studying this uh, this night, right? Tonight, yes. It's not the only topic that we have, and we are going to underline it. So let's see our infinite languages. Let me place you like this. Our uh, infinitive. Uh, complements, right? We said that we are going to be using the three phrases that we have in the book, right? Well, in the virtual platform. Let's see. It says it is important, right? It's important. Okay, it's important. Let me check the other one. It's sometimes helpful. Okay. 
sometimes hopeful and it's a good idea. It's a good idea, right? So this one are gonna be the phrases that we are gonna be using with the infinitives, right? Let me change the color. There we see. So these three phrases are the ones that our virtual platform proposed for us to use the infinitives. So taking in consideration the phrases, if we wanna do a pattern, we can say, first of all, right? First of all, we are gonna have the phrase, right? Plus the two, right? Plus the bear in base form, plus a complement, right? A complement, because uh, this one, it might be if you want to take it in that way, right? You to the topic as an advice because of the topic that we are studying, plus the point at the end, right? Saying that our sentence has finished. So we are going to just move it a little bit as much as I can, right? Let's see. Anyway. Can you see it well? Are you able to see it? The color is fine. Yes, teacher. All right. So this one it's going to be, right? So it says that we are gonna have two two and two, right? So this one is going to be the infinitive. And after this infinitive, what we are going to have, it is a verb. Let's pretend that instead of having a cold, we had, for example, a headache, right? Which one? What you can say, it is important too. For example, I have a headache. What you can give me as an advice? It's important too. Mm -hmm. No, no advice for me. It is important to take take some pills. All right, you take some pills. Thank you. Let's see. It is sometimes or it's sometimes helpful to something else that I can do if I have a headache. Mm, it is sometimes helpful to go to rest. Go to rest. Mm -hmm. Go to rest. Good job. And it is, uh, it's a good idea to what? Visit a doctor. To visit a doctor, right? Yes, that's true. To visit a doctor. Thank you. So as you might be able to see here, that's the way that it works, right? So after these two, you need to have a bear in the base form, right? So with the base form, you can use it and then you place the rest, right? That is gonna be the pills, uh, rest or doctor. ¿Qué pasa acá? Estos infinitivos como complementos, pues realmente el infinitivo es este tú, ¿verdad? Este tú es lo que nos conduce a la forma infinitiva. Posteriormente usted tiene un verbo, ¿verdad? Y su complemento y el puntito al final para hacerlo. En lo que es la plataforma virtual nos indica que utilicemos estas tres eh, pues frases, ¿verdad? La frase, ¿verdad? Este nos indica que utilicemos esta frase, estas tres frases, y después usted agrega el infinitivo, que es posible utilizarlo en otras más oraciones de diferentes cosas, no solamente con lo que es la salud. Sí, usted lo puede utilizar, ¿verdad? Usted lo puede utilizar. Entonces, acá tenemos lo que son los infinitivos, ¿verdad? Otra manera de dar un consejo en salud, ustedes lo podrían utilizar con su ¿verdad? Y le podrían decir a alguien como un consejo, you should take some pills, ¿verdad? Para que ustedes vean el uso de lo que estuvimos viendo en los verbos modales. 
So, acá tenemos una. ¿Verdad? Podríamos decir a alguien, ¿verdad? You should go to rest. Right? Right? You should go to rest. And in this one, you can use you should visit a doctor. Right? You should visit a doctor. There we go. Y aquí pues tenemos unas con lo que es el should, que sería el verbo modal que estuvimos viendo anteriormente. Entonces acá básicamente ustedes deciden, ¿verdad? ¿Qué es lo que gustarían utilizar? Por lo general, para dar un consejo, ¿verdad? De algo, pues nosotros utilizamos esto. Sí se va a dar un consejo. Si no, puede utilizar estas tres frases que son pues las más estandarizadas con un verbo al infinitivo, ¿verdad? Con un verbo al infinitivo. Así es como va. Question so far, si ustedes tienen alguna pregunta. Questions? Mino, teacher. En la tercera, en no. it's, it's a good idea to visit doctor, eh, no lleva el A. Visita, visita doctor. Oh, sí, perdón. Se me olvidó poner el, el, lo que es el, ¿cómo se llama esto? El article. Perdonen, sí lo lleva, okay. sí lo lleva, okay. sí. <risa> Thank sí, you. yo me lo comí, ¿verdad? I have already had dinner, pero me lo comí. <risa> Sorry. Right. Sí, si ustedes me ven ahí algún errorcito de dedo, por favor, ¿verdad? Este, es, escríbanmelo si ustedes oyen, se lo digo y no se los escribo, ¿verdad? Entonces, como que una gran discrepancia. ¿verdad? But no problem. So thank you for letting me know. Teacher. Yeah. Tell me. Eh, para que un verbo sea infinitivo siempre tiene que llevar el to. Sí, ¿verdad? Sí. Este, okay. El verbo pues siempre tiene que llevar el to. Hay algo bastante okay. curioso. Déjenme decirles algo por si a alguien se les ha, le, le da la, la curiosidad, ¿verdad? O le ha entrado la curiosidad, regálenme un segundo. Quiero hacer algo, but I can have the, the camera on. So let me see. Well, the sharing, oh, not the camera. Um, where is it? It is in here. Okay. Aquí por acá lo tengo. Veamos. Oh, no, 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 no. Fíjense que hay algo bien interesante con los verbos porque acá nosotros lo tenemos con frases, ¿verdad? Entonces está con una frase y pues puede usted preguntarse si después cuando va a utilizar otro verbo o que esté fuera de la frase, se puede utilizar un infinitivo. Sí se puede. Solo que hay algo that I need that you can remember. There's something that I need that you can remember. There are some verbs that whenever we are talking action verbs like this one, right? Action verbs like this ones, there are some that are exclusive that can be followed by an infinitive, not all of them. Because some others, they are followed by a gerund. Yes, so, and there is the other, the middle point that you can use it uh, either or, which is doesn't have any problem, right? So, for example, if you have um, a sentence, right? Uh, let's see one for plan, right? He plan. We have a party next week, for example. Agarremos este. As you might be able to see, this one is following by an infinitive, right? It's following by an infinitive. So there are some verbs that if it is not the phrase that we have there, they are some that are specific just following by an infinitive. 
The infinity pair that you are going to have, it doesn't matter. The one that matters is the one that you have at the very beginning, right? So basically, if you have one of these ones at the beginning, immediately after your subject or whatever you're talking about, right? After this ones, you need to have an infinity one. So just in case that you might get any sentences like this, right? And you said, well, it doesn't have the, the phrase that I've been studying. It has another bear, an action bear. Why? It's following by an infinitive. It's in this way, right? And the infinitive form is based on this one, right? In the two. That two is the infinitive. So if you have that two, no as a preposition, but this one as the part of the grammar to the infinitive, you need to have the verb always in base form. It doesn't matter if you have a third person singular, right? The one that is gonna matter, it's going to be this one, right? The base, the main verb, which is plans. So the infinitive always in the base form, doesn't matter which subject do you have. Es concerniente a la pregunta que nos hacía la compañera, ¿verdad? En ese caso, eso era lo que quería que ustedes vieran. Si tienen una oración, ¿verdad? No con la frase que estamos viendo nosotros ahorita, puede que se topen con esto. Hay verbos en específico que van seguidos de un infinitivo. Hay otros que van seguidos de un gerundio. Y está el punto medio, ¿verdad? Que puede ir seguido de cualquiera de los dos y no hay ningún problema. Pero desde que estamos viendo los infinitivos, ¿verdad? Solo quería llamarles la atención, por ejemplo, a estos. Y ya pues tenemos el ejemplo de plan, ¿verdad? En realidad, plan sigue siendo el verbo principal de nuestra oración, ¿verdad? Porque es lo que ella literalmente está planeando. Aunque usted tenga una tercera persona plural, siempre el verbo principal, en este caso que es plan, ese es el único que usted le va a aplicar la regla. Si usted tiene esta forma y tiene el tú, después de ese tú, cualquier verbo que usted vaya, no importa si usted está hablando de una tercera persona, tiene que seguir en su forma base. Y pues por último acá tenemos el complemento, ¿verdad? Que es lo que se nos cumple en nuestro patrón, ¿verdad? El infinitivo, verbo en su forma base y el complemento, ¿verdad? Entonces, este, solo por si ustedes se llegan a topar con esto, más adelante lo van a ver. Sí, más adelante lo van a ver, ¿verdad? Mucho más adelante lo van a ver. Entonces, eh, si ya llevan la base de que todo verbo que va seguido de tú es este, en su forma base, pues no va a haber ningún problema. Solo tiene que agregarle de aprenderse estos o mantener en mente los más comunes. ¿verdad? No sé si ahí les contesto una parte de la pregunta de la compañera o alguien más tiene alguna duda. Estimado. No, no he comprendido esta parte que está, de la que estamos viendo. Este, según lo que dijo la compañera, si a un verbo le anteponíamos el tú, se convirtió en un infinitivo. Pero según lo que estamos viendo acá, en esta otra parte, no, no comprendí. En estos ejemplos que usted acaba de poner en la pantalla, ah, este. Oh, no, en estos no se preocupen, ¿verdad? Porque estos todavía no los vamos a ver. Estos todavía no los vamos a ver. Esto es solamente por si ustedes se topaban con algo así en alguna parte de la plataforma virtual o en algo, ¿verdad? La realidad es de que estos verbos hay algo que se llaman infinitivos y gerundios, ¿verdad? Los infinitivos y los gerundios son estos. Estos son los infinitivos. Pero ya hablando en términos de verbos de acción como esto, si no tenemos una frase, ¿verdad? Sino que tenemos una oración tal cual, sin tener esta frase antes, esta es de la forma en la que funciona, ¿verdad? Ellos tienen un verbo en específico que se sigue para nosotros poder convertirlo en infinitivo. Es como, por ejemplo, en el pasado, ¿verdad? Nosotros sabemos que en el pasado hay verbos regulares e irregulares. Pues acá nosotros tenemos verbos que se utilizan, no, verbos de acción, eso, mi, 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 utilizan mi, mi. solamente para lo que es, eh, en este caso, los infinitivos, ¿verdad? Y es esta lista que yo les puse acá, 
pero eh, en realidad o sea, ahorita sí, no la van a Quiere ver. Quiere decir que en este caso de estos verbos no es necesario anteponerle el, el su para considerarse mm. infinitivo. No, este, lo que pasa es de que estos verbos son seguidos por un infinitivo. No sé si me explico. Acá está el verbo plan. Si ustedes se fijan, este es el verbo plan, ¿verdad? Plan. Y es Hagamos el verbo un ejemplo, principal. Por favor, para comprender mejor. Sí, con gusto. Este sería acá, ¿verdad? He... He seems to be sick, por ejemplo. ¿Verdad? Este sim. He seems to be sick. Parece que está enfermo, ¿verdad? Entonces, estos verbos son los que van seguidos de un infinitivo. Este verbo en específico, sim. A pesar de que acá ya está conjugado al presente, porque tenemos he, le agregamos la s, y el infinitivo es to be. ¿Verdad? Entonces, estos verbos son los que van al infinitivo, prácticamente. Si usted tiene este verbo de acción, seguido de él, si usted quiere tener algo más, tiene que ser un verbo en infinitivo. Así sería. Ah, ok. Thank you. You're welcome. ¿Alguien más? No. No, teacher. Okay. Thank you. Acá vea. Bueno, y pues acá tenemos lo de las oraciones. Prácticamente es, es de la manera en la que nosotros lo vamos a estar ocupando ahorita, ¿verdad? Con la frase más el tú. Y pues ustedes le agregan el verbo que le quieran poner dependiendo de la situación que se les sea presentada, ¿verdad? En cuestión de salud en este caso. O si no, también pueden hacer uso del modal should. Y ustedes le pueden dar un advice a la persona. Ahí mm. depende pues de, de ustedes si desean utilizar la frase y utilizar el infinitivo o si desean utilizar should y al final pues, eh, llegamos a la, a la misma conclusión, ¿verdad? Le estamos dando un consejo a la persona. Con los otros no se preocupen, ¿verdad? Esos otros son, quizás lo van a ver el, el otro módulo en el intermedio 4 probablemente. Solo recuerden que tú, después de este tú, ¿verdad? Si no es un lugar y es un verbo, tiene que seguir este, pues en forma infinitiva. Acá, si usted tiene ese tú y es un verbo, pero no es una, un lugar, un place, su verbo tiene que estar siempre en su forma base. No lo vaya a cambiar. A pesar de que tenga una tercera persona, eh, en este caso, he, she, or it, no se cambia. Siempre recuerden eso. Si yo después de tú tengo un verbo y no es un lugar, yo no cambio nada, ¿verdad? No cambio nada a pesar de que sea mi tercera persona. ¿Estamos bien hasta allá? Yes. No. Yes, teacher. All yes. right. All yes. right. Yes. So, keep mind that, ¿verdad? Mantengan eso presente para que no se les vaya a olvidar. Let's see. Uh, this is what we have here, right? So, for example, uh, here we have some sentences. I don't know if you are able to see it. I feel that it's really small. Si las pueden ver? This one's problems, yes. advices. Yes, Column yes teacher. One, two. Awesome. Mm -hmm. So, si pueden verlas, that's wonderful. Because I was like a kind of concern. I see it a little small. So, let's see. Problems and advices. So, we are going to transfer, right? The Well, the advice to the problem. I'm going to give you five minutes to transfer them. We are going to do it together then. Look at them and let me know when you are ready. Five minutes to do it. Mm -hmm. Give me one second. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Ready? No jet? Ready? No jet? <coughs> Ready, no yet. Ustedes me dicen. ¿Cómo vamos? No yet, please. No yet. Minutes. Uh -huh. All right. I would like to play some music for you while you are working, but it's not possible, right, to play some music because um, YouTube doesn't accept it for some reason. I don't know why. It's kind of crazy, right? So, but let me know when you're ready. I wish that I can sing, but I can't, so I cannot sing for you. All right, ready? All right, ready? It's more difficult because it's a new vocabulary for me. Okay, it's new vocabulary for you. Okay, yes. which one? Okay, in what do you have any problem? Tell me. Do you have any problem with uh, those ones? Uh, two, eight, um, uh, five. Number five, number five, number five, number five. Uh, a born, a born, that one? Oh, no, I'm sorry. Uh, two eggs. Two eggs. Yes. Number five. Two eggs. Yes. Two. Mm -hmm. Dolor de dientes, ¿verdad? Más que todo diría yo en nuestro buen salvadoreño el dolor de muelas. Mm -hmm. ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Es un okay. poquito... <laughs> that's something cruel, right? That's mm -hmm. one of the things that are cruel in life. Mm -hmm. We never... Uh, cuando a uno le duele un diente o una muela, Oh my God, I have seen my, my dad even just uh, with some tears in the eyes, right? Uh, and it's, uh, I think it's crazy. I never had had that, right? I never had had. Nunca lo he tenido, pero sí he visto a, a, a mi señor padre, ¿verdad? Con dolor de muela. Y casi se le salen las lágrimas. And it's something really, and extremely. Yes. Uh, chair, uh, what does mean ointment? Which one? Put some ointment. Let me check. I guess it's anesthesia. Es un guento, yes. ¿ves? Es un guento. Uh -huh. Para quemada. Para un guento para quemada. All right. So thank you. Ah, no, no es yes. para los músculos. <laughs> Mire, podría ser. Like uh, they sell, right? They sell el, el famoso, ¿cómo se llamaba esto? Había uno bien famoso que antes salía. Este, ¿cómo se llamaba? El famoso cofal. Exactly. Cofal. Yes, el famoso cofal. And now they have changed, right? Uh, fíjense que este eh, ointment en realidad es, la palabra es untadura. Pero imagínese usted, untar, ¿verdad? Pero si lo vamos a utilizar acá para la salud, es como nos decía el compañero, un guento, pomada o crema, ¿verdad? Entonces, um, I will say that it will be for a burn, para una quemadura, más allá de un dolor de muscles. ¿verdad? Aunque nosotros lo podemos ocupar con muscles porque sabemos que está el, el, el ungüento, ¿verdad? Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Alguien más, alguna? Mm, 
¿No? Package es... Eh, Patty, perdón. Es dolor de espalda. Sí, acá. Ok. Es? Yes. Dolor de espalda. Have you ever get it? To be sit too much time. ¿Alguna vez les ha dado por estar sentado mucho tiempo? Yes. So yes, yes, I have. <laughs> yeah, it's horrible. Okay, yeah. I have a cold uh, number two. Which one? The cough. <coughs> yes. Oh. Yes, that's Thank the cough. You. You're welcome. Okay. Yes. Like me in the last module, right? Olguita can remember, right? Like me in the last module. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, I remember. Los tenía todos. Bueno, la quemadura, bueno, la quemadura y el toothache. Los tenía todos los demás. Yeah. I was this unit, right? In life. Era esta unidad en vida. <laughs> yeah. But yes, it's crazy. Uh, now you don't even know what it is. You don't know if it is uh, this virus or if it is something just uh, viral, right? In this, in the environment or something else. But anyways, right? Like someone said, it is what it is, and we need to just to get accustomed. I was listening, right? While you are working, let me tell you, I was listening to the World Health Organization that they were saying that we need to get accustomed or we will have to live right with this. ¿Qué dice acá? Déjeme ver si puedo escribir. Oh, sí, escribo. So we need to live with uh, this thing, right, that is going on uh, nowadays. And I say, really, do we will have to live with this all the rest of our life? because it's, uh, it's crazy, right? It's crazy, a lot of people is dying still. Some others does, doesn't want to believe on it and it's crazy. So now, I don't know, whenever I'm just sneezing or coughing, I say, is it you, virus, or is it just something viral, right? In the environment, my allergies. But anyways, right, take care of yourself. Let's see. Uh, this one I tried to do it uh, just in order that we can have that I can have something to write it down here. I guess I didn't just put a blocking on your eyes in this. Let's see. A uh, sore throat. Which one do you propose? A, B, C, or up to J? Tell me. Number one, it will be with J. Get some medicine. Get some medicine, all right? Someone else has something different? I see a doctor. Oh, see a doctor. Yes. A sore throat, see a doctor. Okay. Yes, because, because the COVID. <laughs> because of the COVID. Okay, let's uh, say that this one, we can have the letter I and J, right? It sounds to me good. So let's see, a cough. Uh, a cough. Um, drink, which one? Drink lost of liquid. Drink lost of liquid. Okay, it could be right. So just that you can calm the cough. Okay, we can say it. Mm -hmm. Maybe Jay. Someone else? Get Maybe some Jay. medicine. Get yes. some medicine too, right? Yes, mm -hmm. it's possible. Good. Mm -hmm. Do you have another one for this one or those ones are enough? No, it's good. All right. So it's at the back eight. Which one do you think? Letter B, put some ointment on it. Yes. Put some ointment on it. All right. Just, uh, let's a Latin say, we'll say, just put some cofalito there. Yes. <laughs> Cofal. Yes. <laughs> if it is not cofalito, um, e. put it. Letter E. All right. Let's see. Yes. Letter E. Mm -hmm. And letter B, right? E. And letter B. E. Oh, okay. Which one? E, e. or B? Which health health in pal in on it? Ah, pal on it. Oh, e. 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 Uh -huh. e and B, right? Okay. You told me E and B, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So E and B. I hope that you are able to see it. 
All right, EMB. Which one is the next one? Fever. What about the fever? Take some aspirin. Take some aspirin. Take some aspirin. Take some aspirin. Jay. All right. See a doctor. Jay. Yes. Jay. Okay. Get F. some medicine. F. Someone say put it under cold water, right? Yes. That's true. Yes. Thank you. So see a doctor. I. Someone say it. I guess I put it mm -hmm. here or I didn't. I'm going to place here. I. Mm -hmm. Doesn't cover eating, chicos. Let me see. La voy a poner por acá. Fíjense que la voy a sacar. Vamos a ver. We say uh, J. Which one do you tell me the other one? The F. F and I. F and I. Right. So here we have them. Y aquí las tenemos. ¿verdad? Let's see the next one. Tooth. The tooth. Uh, see a dentist. See a dentist. See a dentist, right? Don't do it like uh, some of the our grandparents does it. My mom said that my grandma, uh, which one it is? No, H. 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 H, yes. Mm -hmm. My grandma, she used to take a knife and she started just to, you know, just doing something there, right? To take it out the teeth, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, that's really, oh, so go to see the doctor. Let's see, the back eight, what else? G. On this one. G? Uh, G. Oh, okay. G. Take some, Take some aspirin. aspirins. All right. Something else? Do you think that putting a heating pad uh, on it will help? B. Go to bed and rest. Oh, B. Yes. Some oil. D. 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 Okay. B. D. D. Go to bed, rest. Okay. Good. Mm. Thank you. What about the porn? B. What does it mean born? Que madura. Born. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. B? Uh -huh. B. B. What else? Another one that you think it might work? C. Sí, F. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. C. Sí, doctor. A... I. E. Go ahead. E. E as well. Put in e a healing pad on it. Yes. Okay. Or just put it under cold water, the F. Um, if Do you think F. that it might work? Yes. All right, sure. So what about the last one, the flu? C. A. C. C. Take some okay. vitamin C. Green A, vitamin C. A. All right. A. Mm -hmm. A. All right, A. thank you. This one, right, is vitamin. 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 Okay. Vitamin. Yes, wait a minute. Yes, that will be it, right? So good job, good job, good job, good job. So this is good, right? So fíjense que ahorita me acabo de acordar que yo les pedí que hicieran algo, pero creo que lo voy a dejar para mañana. Hasta ahorita acabo de, de hacer mi recall, ¿verdad? Porque como no, no es tarea realmente, ¿verdad? Este, y de igual manera, pues he visto que algunos ya avanzaron su plataforma virtual, otros ya terminaron, ¿verdad? Siendo un pequeño comercial, nada que ver con esto, pero el pequeño paréntesis que ya terminaron la plataforma virtual, bien hecho, ¿verdad? Bien hecho. Eh, no dejen de asistir porque acá realmente, pues, aclaramos las dudas o cualquier otra pregunta que tengan curiosidades y pues intentamos todos aprender algo nuevo todos los días ¿verdad? así que felicidades a los que ya terminaron y a los que están avanzando no dejen de avanzar por favor para avancen lo más que puedan preguntas concerniente a esto questions so far questions no no teacher no all right no we are question. almost about to go all right uh, tomorrow uh, we are going to do the sentences just with the advices or the phrases that we have, we are going to take two or three of them and we are going to arrange the sentences with the infinity. After this one, we have another conversation, which is, uh, may I help you, right? So this one is another uh, verb that is going to be basically a modal verb. So we are going to be studying can, could, and may, right? 
for suggestions, right? Requests and suggestions. So this one is what we are gonna be studying tomorrow. So get ready. If you can scan this, go ahead and scan it. And I will be sending to you at nine this uh, presentation so you can have the session number two presentation. So for me, this is old. I hope that you learn a new word today. That will be wonderful. And have a good night. Rest and relax. Take care. We will see us tomorrow. Any questions, hit me up on WhatsApp. See ya. Bye bye. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Good night. Take care. Rest and relax.